my favorite leader in One Piece. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I got a deck profile for you on my favorite leader in One Piece, the starter Luffy leader. I really, 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 really like this guy. I made this custom leader. You might like it. You may have seen it on my YouTube shorts, but this deck's really fun, and I apologize. I am getting my house worked on, so you may hear some loud noises. Frankie is busy in my pirate ship. Um, so yeah, let's just get into this deck profile. Oh, and if you're not subscribed, if you wanted to, that would be really cool. Thank you so much. Let's check out this uh, leader. So basically, if you don't know Starter Luffy, he takes a Rested Dawn once per turn on your turn, and you can add it to one of your character cards or leader cards. So after you exhaust your Dawn to pay for skills or pay for effects or pay for cards, you take one of those Rested Dawn and slap it on your leader or another card. And there's a lot of instances in which you want to do that. So we'll get into that. So here's the deck. Um, I play four choppers. Chopper's really good because chopper's basically just like a one cost negate, basically. He's gonna block an attack. He's really good for protecting your bigger bodies. And early on, if you don't wanna take damage and you have one in hand, you can just play him and block an attack with him. Then I'm playing four of the uh, Nami that has the same skill as the leader. So basically she can take a rested Dawn and add a 20 of your character cards and leader cards. So if you have the Luffy and the Nami's effects available, you can play like Rush Luffy on when you have five Dawn and make him unblockable or play the bigger boy, which we'll get to. Uh, of course, the search Nami Swan, this is great. She's just a one cost search top five for a straw hat and pretty much your entire deck is straw hats. So almost everything is searchable except for like two cards, I think. Um, and then she's also a body you can swing with into smaller stuff. So if you're playing in green and they play searchers like Momo or Bonnie, you can swing into Momo and Bonnie with Nami because she's gonna swing over them. It'll make them waste the 2K and then you can just kill them off with your leader. So she's really good. Um, I love this art, it's a great card. And then this is the free Nami. It's basically uh, search top five also, but what's cool about this is if you trigger this off your life, you can resolve it. So searching in this game is really interesting. I feel like you don't really wanna do it super early because you wanna control your searches. There's things that you want in your hand, there's things that you want in your deck. And when you search your top five, you have to bottom deck everything else. So seeing this off your life, like mid game, late game is really, really good because you basically just to get to look through your top five cards and control what you're gonna have in your hand on the next turn which can really manipulate the tempo of the game. So really strong card. And then also if you have it in your hand and you just need something you need to dig, you can just pay one and search for a card that you need. I'm playing four Bartos. Bartos a really interesting blocker. Um, even paying two to get out of an attack, it's just strong to have blockers on board. So I think he's a really good card. And also he gets around Robin because if you put two Dawn on him on your opponent's turn, he's gonna be a 5K blocker. And then Robin can't pop him on swing, which we'll talk about in a moment. And then I'm playing two Sanji. This is basically just a shiny 2K. I don't really play Sanji much. I feel like you don't really want to take life. And a lot of the matchups these days, you really want to protect your life and you don't really need as much access to your life in a controlled manner. You're usually just getting life or trying to protect it. So he's really just a shiny 2K and it's nice to be protected by Sanji. Um, Usopp is cool. I actually kind of like him a little better than Sanji, but he's not as shiny. So I'm just playing two. It's a 2K counter again. And this is pretty good against blue. They really are gonna invest in bouncing it and you wanna make them use their cards to invest in bouncing cards. Also purple will probably kill it, but if he has a Dawn on him, whenever they swing, you get to draw. So it just, it makes your opponent play weird. I think anything that makes your opponent play weird or have to make decisions is good. So I do like Usopp. Uh, MVP of the deck, Robin Chuan. MVP to the max. Robin, I think, I think Robin and Okiku are kind of like the best cards in OP1. They're just so much value printed on the card. She's a three cost. Dawn X1 on swing, she can KO something with 3000 power or less. Now this gets really good in set two because there's some cards that reduce power, a bunch of red cards that reduce power. But even if you have, if they have like a 5,000 power card on the board, you can play Otama, Negum by two and then swing with Robin and just pop them. Um, there's lots and lots of ways to use her skill to remove stuff and removal is just so strong. So she's basically a 5K swing and she's gonna remove something small. You can get rid of blockers, you can get rid of searchers, just really, really, really valuable card. So thank you so much, Robin Chuan. Um, and then we got Otama. Otama's also amazing. She's a 2K counter, she costs one and she negs something by 2000 uh, the turn you play it. So if they have like uh, the big eight drop kit out, you can Otama jet pistol that because you can neg it by two and then you can use jet pistol pay four and KO something with 6,000 power or less. So there's a lot of ways that you can just kind of 
control boards and also she's also good i mean obviously for the 2k but just to minus something by 2000 makes it a lot easier to swing into it and if your opponent wants to protect that thing you're going to force more resources out of their hand so she's a really really valuable card i think she's a fantastic part of the deck um jet pistol of course this card is just nasty it's uh four cost we pay for and you can ko one of your opponent's character cards with 6,000 power or less and if you have this off your life if you trigger this you can just pop something so if they miss sequence and they play like a law blocker and then swing with their leader and you see a jet pistol you just pop their law and really punish them for their miss sequencing steps so really really good card i think four is good um red hawk i love i think this is such a good counter i think this is the best of the 2k counters because it's the only one with real removal um you just remove something 4,000 power or less so like if they just play a robin and then they attack you and you red hawk you can just kill the robin it's really 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 strong card um and it gives you plus 4,000 power and if you trigger this this can just win you games uh, there was a game at locals that i shouldn't have won but they last life i took was a red hawk and i put minus 10,000 on their zoro and they basically couldn't do the damage with the zoro in play and it got me the game so i really really like this card i think four is really good it's really strong i'd rather pay i'd rather just save the extra one and get more value out of using my counter step rather than use something like something that just gives you power um and then luffy is amazing this card's i think also this is probably the best starter deck card i would say because blockers are such an important part of the game and to just not be able to block something like really messes with your game plan if you don't have enough dawn to counter out of it or if you don't have enough cards in hand to counter out of it if this guy's swinging big like you just can't really do much about it and he just closes out games so really really good card i think four is good and if you have the leader skill and anami you can play him when you have five dawn and make him unblockable so really nice to be able to add those rested dawn to cards now this card i think is awesome this card is so so good he's a six cost and he gets rush when he has two dawn and he works really well with this leader because if you have nami and your leader effect basically once you have six dawn which could be on turn three if you're going second you can play this guy and swing for a 9k rush on turn three which is really really difficult to deal with it's also big to get over he's a 7k base and 7k is big so you have to swing big to get over him and he's easy to protect and then you just have a 7k body on board until they can figure out how to remove him so i think this card is really really strong i like it i think four is good shanks i'm on the fence about shanks can win you games he's nine cost uh, ten thousand power rush and he can't be blocked by things that are two thousand power or less so i think there's definitely value in him um i have definitely gained a lot of momentum in games from playing him but i'm almost thinking about maybe like adding to the starter deck sanji's or to rush zoros i just feel like sometimes in that last play you want more swings than a bigger swing so i'm still kind of on the fence about him i know a lot of people that were playing this deck were playing four i didn't really like four a lot of times he just felt like not the card to play i either want to play the unblockable luffy or the um the big boy luffy so yeah that's pretty much the deck i hope you guys enjoy this deck profile i would say try this deck out if you have a chance it's really good into kit because it has special cards that help deal with green and green is a very difficult suppressive color it does struggle a little against purple and blue is here or there you know you can swing through their blockers and you can pop their blockers so they're just going to want to be bouncing your cards constantly you just make them use up their bounce cards and then you punish them for it and i think this can get zoro also but it's a little bit more of an even matchup i'm a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip uh milk does not replace your teeth the way that it does in one piece you have to brush them and floss them and take care of them and go to your dentist and get them checked out make sure they're healthy so you can smile and enjoy food for the rest of your life thank you so much and i'll see you next time Thank you so much by my Thank you so much by my heart. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart.